Squashes are notoriously prolific, but sometimes they need a bit of help to get started. If your plants are flowering like mad, but not producing any fruits, it's time to start hand pollinating them to speed things along a bit. In this short video, we'll show you how to do it. Hand pollination is a useful technique when there aren't many natural pollinators such as bees around, either because it's cold or rainy, or because crops are growing under cover in a greenhouse or tunnel. Hand pollinating is also a simple and effective way to boost your yields, ensuring good fruit set for a reliable harvest. All types of squashes can be hand pollinated, including pumpkins, melons and zucchini or courgette. Squashes have separate male and female flowers. Before we hand pollinate, we need to know exactly which is which. This is a male flower. It has a straight stem behind the bloom with no swelling. Peer inside the flower and you can see the stamens which carry the pollen. We'll be taking the pollen from these to fertilise the female bloom. And here's a female flower which has a very obvious swelling behind it. This is the immature fruit which will begin growing once it's been pollinated. And here's a peek inside a female flower. You can clearly make out the stigma onto which we'll brush our collected pollen to fertilise the bloom. When you compare the male and female flowers side by side, it's easy to see the differences. Let's get on with the task in hand. To pollinate, we'll use an artist's paintbrush, which has softer bristles. Use it to tickle pollen from the stamens of a male flower onto the brush. You should be able to see the pollen on the brush end. Once you've done this, transfer it onto the stigma of a female flower by gently stroking the brush over it. And that's it. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can simply detach the male flower from the plant, then peel back the petals to expose the stamens and their pollen. Now, carefully, dab the pollen onto the stigma of an open female flower to pollinate it. Hand pollination is also useful when you want to save seeds of your favourite varieties. Squashes readily cross-pollinate with each other, so the only way to guarantee that seeds will produce plants that are the same variety as their parents is to prevent pollination by insects. You can then hand pollinate to ensure that only pollen from plants of the same variety reaches the female flower. You don't need to isolate the whole plant, just one or two female blooms that will carry your seed. Cover the flower with a light, breathable fabric such as muslin. Tie the fabric around the stem at the back so the flower is completely enclosed. Then when it opens, remove the fabric and hand pollinate. Return the cover when you're done and keep it in place until the flower drops off and there's no further risk of cross-pollination. Mark the developing fruit with a ribbon so you know from which fruits to collect your seeds. In situations where squashes are reluctant to produce fruits, hand pollination is a very useful technique to know. How are your squashes getting on this summer? Are they romping away or in need of a little encouragement? Let us know down in the comments section. And make sure you keep up to speed with all our latest tips and advice by subscribing to our channel. There's always room for more subscribers and we'd love to have you involved in the conversation. I'll catch you next time.